Hi, welcome to this video showing you how to get private video and audio chat integrated in Nextcloud. So we will be installing Spreetme on a server. Spreetme offers WebRTC audio and video chat. That's fully end-to-end -end encrypted, completely private and secure. So Spreetme is a Go server app. We have to compile it as there are currently no packages or Docker images yet. They will come in due time and uh, will make it easier to get all of this working. Now we will go through three steps. We'll install the Spreetme server application. We will then install the Spreetme Nextcloud app. And then we'll go to configuring the server and the apps. So that Spreetme and Nextcloud can talk to each other. Now I've opened three terminals on my server. One for the Apache configuration, one for building and configuring the Spreetme server, and one for getting and configuring the Spreetme app. So the first step is to install Spreetme. Now, as I said, there's no Docker yet and there's no packages yet. So we're going to build it. Now it's relatively simple because Spreetme is written in Go. Um, so we're going to start with installing Go. Um, well, this is already done actually, but I'll still show you. And Go is already installed. Now, I'll show this on OpenSUSE. If you are a user of Ubuntu, for example, that's apt-get install go um, and so on with other distros, it's slightly different. Now, we're going to go to the folder where our web server is installed. You see here Nextcloud, which is my Nextcloud server. Then we're going to download Spreetme directly master from GitHub. All right, then we will extract the zip file. And you see it is put in the folder Spreet WebRTC Master. Now, we're going to go in that folder and we're going to build the configuration and make files. All right, then we can run the configure step, which will detect all the dependencies and prepare building Spreetme. And then we run make. So Spreet has finished building. We're now done. We have Spreetme installed. Step two, installing the Nextcloud app. So we will go to the folder where Nextcloud is installed on my system. And we will then download again directly from GitHub from master the zip file of the application. Extract it. Now this is put in a Nextcloud Spreetme master folder, which we will then rename. To spread me. And that's it. The app is now installed. Now the big amount of work configuring the server and the apps. So, first we will configure Apache to make Spreetme accessible. This will basically allow Nextcloud to talk to Spreetme. So, for this we have to configure Apache. Now, so we go to the Apache folder. So on OpenSUSE, this is where you can find vhost files. There is, for example, nextcloud.conf, which we're going to edit. Now, we have to put this text in the right place. The right place is just above here, virtual host. So, done. Now, now we'll restart Apache. Okay, next step, the Spreetme configuration. So these are a lot of steps. They're all quite simple, but it's important that you don't miss anything. Now we're gonna begin by going to the right folder 
Now here we are already in that folder, so that won't change a thing. And then we copy over the default server configuration to the server configuration we'll modify. And then we go and edit it. So here we need to make changes in three sections. The HTTP section, which is right here, where we need to enable base path. So we look here and we see ah, there's base path. Well, so we remove the semicolon and then edit this to. Now you can this you can do this in different ways. Now you can do this in different ways, but our manual or our now you can do this in different ways, but I strongly suggest to use it spread me as in a path on your server. Alright, done. Then we go to the app section. And we look for authorize room join. I set it to true. Then we enable extra. And set it to the absolute path of spreadme slash extra. So this is the folder of the app that you installed. Yeah, you put the app here. There is spreadme. And that's where this needs to point to because in Spreetme has a folder named extra. Let me show you. Here's extra. So that's what we need to point to. This folder. So we'll remove this and paste this folder. Then we enable plugin and we set it to extra static on cloud.js. Alright, so we have done this one. Now we need to go to the users section. Here we go. Set enabled to true. And then we set the mode to shared secret. So this is basically how you authenticate users. It's the default, so that's not too difficult. Now, of course, then we actually need such a shared secret. So there is a shared secret here. Let me see. Ah, here we go. Now, it says do not keep, so we will not keep it. We will generate this using this command. Now, for that, I will quickly open another terminal. And this command just gives you random numbers, which is what we need. So then we will just enter the random numbers here. And there we go. You should keep this because we will need it later on again to connect uh, the application. This is how the how Spreetme server talks to the Spreetme Nextcloud app. Now, we've made all these changes. So we save and close the file. Done. All right. This was the Spreetme server app. Now the client app. Now we have to configure the Nextcloud app by going into the uh, config. And there we copy over the default configuration into our config file and go and edit it. Now, here we need to make a number of settings. First, there's a WebRTC base path. Yeah, now this needs to be WebRTC and it already is, so that's easy. Then we need a shared secret. Remember the shared secret we had? We need to copy our shared secret there again. So this one needs to go here. Oh, it needs to go within these. So, 
Now you can also allow temporary users, so those are basically people who have not registered. Uh, like for example you want to invite a friend who doesn't have a user account on your next cloud, you still want to invite him or her for a call, then you can simply enable this and then you send them a link and they will be able to join. So let's set this to true and if you do that you also need to generate another key which is used for authentication. So that's simple, we just generate another key and insert it here. All right, so the shared secret has been set and we've enabled the temporary password login. So now we save and close. Now we need to go into the extra static config folder. So we need to go in extra because here is a file we need to copy over and configure again. Well, actually the configuration is pretty simple. We used slash webrtc uh, as domain. So as you can read in the file, if you use that, then the host is automatically determined. It's going to be your current host. So this actually doesn't have to be configured the way we've done it. We just need to put the file there. All right. Now is the app configured. So um, we've configured Apache here and started it. Let's start the Spreetme server running. And the Spreetme app, well, that will have to be enabled, of course, in Nextcloud. So we will log into Nextcloud. Go to the app. Go to the non-enabled apps. And we look for the app. There it is. Enable. That was easy enough. We go back to here. And then in our drop down is Spreetme. So I just created a test room and now we will make a temporary password for Arthur2 in the binary, of course. So an expiration date, well, let's say for the 14th. Uh, but then do you really want to create a temporary password, which is valid for more than one day? Well, yes, let's do that. All right, now we have a URL. We can send it to Arthur. And of course, also a password. You see they are very long. <laughs> um, all right, now we need to wait for him to join. There he is. How nice. So if you click the little star, you send a contact request, which the other user can accept, as you see, accept it. And then you can give a call. Share devices, and there we go. Good morning, Arthur. It's working. Morning. Wonderful. Now, this is a test. Thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye again. Sweet. So that was it. And join Spreetme, let us know how it works out for you on the forums, and thank you for watching.